Not note as uh, students focus on moving in for many grades won't be the only thing they'll have to keep up with this year as inflation continues to increase the cost of nearly everything. News for Tucson's Isabella Fredrickson has more. This past March, the University of Arizona proposed a 3% increase in resident tuition and a 4% increase in non-resident tuition for the 2023 to 2024 school year. That's not the only thing increasing for students. Like many of us, they'll have to deal with the rising cost of inflation. That has incoming University of Arizona students, such as sophomore Carlos Camino, concerned. He shares with us how on-campus housing prices hit his wallet pretty hard. It definitely super is ex like is super expensive, it, like even more so than last year. I know that like prices at the apartments went up, which for a lot of U of A students is really stressful. Luis Moneres, who works at Wells Fargo's Tucson Metro District, says the impacts of the current state of inflation is anticipated to overtake an already record-breaking back-to-school budget. Inflation is expected to hit back-to-school budgets hard this year, far exceeding last year's record-breaking $41.5 billion. Camino says with the cost of school going up, he will have to divide his hours between being a full-time student and working a job. It definitely has caused me to be like a little more stressed out. Like I have to budget myself more than like I have been used to and I have to work like in college and I know a lot of kids do that. So it's just like stressful now, like having to plan ahead and kind of having to like budget and save and just kind of like plan for that, I guess. And then even going to the future, like planning for next year and then my senior year, I have to like budget more carefully and kind of spend less. According to Salary.com, the cost of living has gone up 2.5% in Tucson in the last year. The biggest increases include transportation, food, and housing. Reporting from the University of Arizona, Isabella Fredrickson, News for Tucson.